hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're stopping right here for the very first time you're so welcome don't forget to hit that subscribe button before leaving this channel and if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much for stopping by in today's video um uh, so we have some questions we are going to be answering and then i'm just going to go ahead and answer the questions just as i received them the first question I have here said, um, how are you enjoying your community nurse clinicals? Is it what you expected? So in case you don't know, I am a nursing student. That's for the new subscribers. I'm a nursing student currently studying. Hmm? I'm a... I'm a Nigerian student currently studying nursing. So recently we had a community experience and the community experience means that you'll be posted to a certain place around the community where we are in and you're expected to stay there for a total of one month. So this person is asking if I enjoyed the if I'm enjoying the clinical experience and if it is what I expected. I'm actually enjoying it. It was nice. I enjoyed every bit of it. I had to experience delivery more because in my school we actually have a we have a we have an hospital but students do not really have access to the labor ward but here in this community because we're in the health center we have i mean we have all the access we want so this is the place where i'm getting to experience many things in the labor world and then we are also doing many things and all of that stuff so so far i'm ex i'm enjoying it and it is what i expected and it is what i'm getting i mean i'm so glad that i am enjoying it actually so the next person said um, when are we seeing jenny we miss her very much at least i do so i don't know i've made a video explaining to you when jenny is coming back jenny actually went for a church program that took her for one year six months so after her church after this one year six months she's going to be coming back and people are going to be seeing her but for now she's just away for the time being She'll be back by November this year, so she's just I come back with just around the corner. And when she comes back, people are going to be seeing lots of amazing content from her. So please, for the time being, go back to our old videos, watch them, like, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Her channel link is going to be on my description box. So please head straight to Jenny's channel. And another person said, when I, when you are done with your studies, will you settle at Uyo or at Edith's house? This question is actually not so something is off about this question so when i am finally done with my studies i mean with my hard earned years i've spent in school will i go and settle in uyo or edit house well to just answer that question plainly i am going to pursue my career so anyway my career is going to lead me to is where i'm going to stay so if i know that i can make the best out of a particular environment i'm going to settle for that environment if that environment is not going to favor my career when i when i when, I'm, when i say my career i mean my nursing career so if that particular environment is not going to be favorable to my career i'm going to switch so for this question after my studies i'm going to settle in a place that is going to be favorable for my career so this another person said how long do you have left before completing school i think i'm in my second year now so i have another year to complete school so it's a three-year program my school actually run their nursing program for three years so i'm in my second year so in less than a year again I should be done with my nursing school so that's it about that one this other person said um, when you finish school do you plan on staying in your country well presently my country do not have any reservations for people like us nurses i mean they are reservations for medical workers are so little they have little or no business with us even though they want us to stay in the country they're not willing to you know release money and i mean as much as we want to save life money is also part of why we want to save life so if you're not willing to give us money i mean you should be willing to give us money so i'll be motivated to work my country is not like that so well 
except for some private companies if you have the opportunity to work in a private sector you might earn well or if you have the opportunity to work as a like for, for the government they can actually pay well but getting the job in the government i mean with the government is where the problem actually lies because you can't just get a job like that you have to know somebody that knows somebody or just take the grace of god for you to actually secure a very good job with the government um, in a nutshell and to answer this question plainly after my school i am planning to stay in my my my, my school has an hospital after the school you have to complete you have to work for our hospital in school there so i'm planning to work there for like three months to gain experience number one and then i'm planning to also work for another hospital for another three months that's two hospitals so in total i want to work for two hospitals to gain experience i mean so that when i'm writing to my cv i've worked for two hospitals after that two hospitals i should be thinking of how to actually better my life so these two two hospitals i'm going to be working for it doesn't matter how much they will pay me even though they will be paying me 5k 5000 naira i'm going to accept it the aim at that time when i'm just finishing school is just to get i mean to just have it that i have worked for this hospital but after that time after those two hospitals it is over i need to start aiming high i mean i need to start putting these people where they belong so if this country is going to be favorable to me if i'm going to see a good place to work in where they will pay me good money not just a good place i would stay but if not carry me they go carry me they go better country i'm going to a better country that's just that about that one so some other person said um beautiful always thank you very much and i want one person said where is your sister jenny and when is she coming back on youtube again i think i answered that question she's out there for a a good course she's going to be coming back by november so anticipate keep on waiting for her you're going to see her very soon so this other person said how do you film and edit how do you film your videos and edit them so now before i was using an iphone 6 to film my video but um the phone got bad and i had to change it presently presently i'm filming with an iphone 11 so and i edit with an with a filmora app on my laptop i edit with a filmora app and on my phone if i want to edit with my phone this particular phone this is an infinix i don't use this one to film because i don't know i don't like the quality it's an old phone so you know android when the phone gets old the quality tends to reduce that's just the problem about this one but i use this one in editing sometimes when i just got this phone newly i couldn't transfer files from the phone to the laptop so because i couldn't transfer files from the phone to the laptop i actually transferred them in fact i downloaded InShot there and i was using that InShot to edit my videos so if you want to film with your phone make sure you just have a good quality phone make sure you clean the lens so that it's just going to be bright i mean just stay and do your thing and when you're done if you have a laptop you can get your filmora app or most people use this cut pro max hmm? cut something final cut pro most people use final cut pro in editing but i use filmora if you want to use your phone to edit you can either use your InShot or your Viva, anyone. I use InShot and it doesn't leave watermark on your video. So that's one thing I like about InShot. Moving over to the next question. I like your content. My question is how old are you? So I'm just 24 years old. I'm very young, I know. Another person said, why did you all stop living together? You haven't been to your elder sister's house as well. So this is a very, very this is one question that i get every almost every time i actually made a dedicated video to this question i told you guys i told okay maybe this person is actually new let me assume that this person is actually new so because i'm presently no he's not also new because if he knows that i've been staying with my sister that means whatever so i started nursing school and nursing school is not like any other kind of school where you can have like many vacations presently i'm on a short break a four days break and four days break the only place i can think of many people are not going for this break because it's very far i mean their place is very far from the school i school in a way by the way in case you don't know so for this break it's just it's ideal that i come to uyo because from where to uyo is just like four hours whereas if i want to go to abuja 
it's going to take me the whole day and there is no way i will take four days break there's no way i will use four days break in going to uyo except i have money for flights and four days break for a flight is good to expense like it's it's not what the the stress and the expenses if i have like a two weeks break i can i can i mean i can just go but the point is just that they don't have they don't they don't give us as much break as other other departments give their students so the highest the least the highest break i've gotten so far since i started this school is a two weeks break and that two weeks i actually split it i stayed here for one week and i went there to stay for one week so whenever i have a long vacation why not i'm going to go but for now it's just two days one day four days weekends it's not ideal so that's just the reason there is no strings attached or something like that other question how many years do you have left for nursing school so i'm currently in year two and it's a three-year program so i have like one year plus to graduate before graduating actually another person said you look beautiful thank you very much the last question i have here is do you read any book to help you out with your english uh when i read this question i understood it in two different ways if you mean it's like my english is bad so i need to read books do you read do you read books to help you out with your english actually i'm very confused but if you mean my english is good if i read books to help me out in my english well i don't read any book to help me out in my english i mean i'm just like every other nigerian girl in nigeria maybe you're not from nigeria in nigeria we do english language as a course in school like not like a course as a subject in school and it's a compulsory subject so everybody does english language so i think that's where i learned my english from there is no there, i don't think i even speak good english in the last video i made i said the human bleeded and somebody has to correct me that it is bled not bleeded so i make mistakes too i'm not perfect it's just that i'm kind of fluent and it's not even like i'm kind of fluent it's just that i talk very fast so it's making it look like i speak good english on the long run in the real sense i do not speak good english well i'm not disputing that fact but i don't read any book i don't do any extra activities i just speak anything that enter my mouth that's just it so that is actually the end of this question end of this video actually so i've finished answering all the questions i have here and i hope you guys found it interesting and loved it if you did thumbs up this video subscribe down below and share this video to your family and friends okay thank you very much for watching see you in my next video bye